Hello everyone, a happy new year. So my new year's message is um, to wish for you all uh, something new in the new year. Not to focus on happiness as we normally would. We could talk about uh, what Buddhism has to say about happiness. How would you make uh, the new year truly uh, a time of happiness? And that's valid and great. But this year something different, something new. Uh, I wanted to talk about uh, what it means to find something new. The, um, the surprising thing in Buddhism is that you don't uh, actually expect to find anything new outside of yourself. That what is new is to be found uh, inside. And this is because our experience of the world around us depends on our frame of mind. And even though the things you experience might be different, the experience itself is only new uh, dependent on the newness or the difference in how you react to it. And so while we might be surprised by things that are unfamiliar to us, there's nothing really meaningful in that kind of newness. And the, the newness that is actually uh, valuable and meaningful in Buddhism relates to our uh, relationship to even things which are old or familiar. So the best way to have a truly new year or, or to have an, a new experience at all is through growth and understanding, through seeing things more clearly than before uh, and, and to understand ourselves and the world around us more clearly. This is really what mindfulness and vipassana or seeing clearly is all about. It's um, very much a process of learning things that are shocking and um, life-changing about the things inside of us, about our own uh, body and mind, about our own momentary day-to-day -day experience of reality, whether it be with familiar or unfamiliar objects and surroundings. At the time when we uh, remind ourselves of the nature of things, for example, saying to yourself, seeing or hearing or noting pain or, or thoughts, you cultivate a uh, awareness of the object on a deeper level than than ordinary experience allows. On ordinary experience is very um, flimsy, is very uh, uh, flighty, flitting from object to object and flitting from object to reaction or extrapolation or judgment uh, of the object. And so we never take the time to fully grasp and pay attention to both the objects of our experience and our reactions to them. Mindfulness provides us the capacity, the opportunity, the ability to, to do just that, to pay closer attention, to see more clearly, and so to learn something new about ourselves. Of course, the three things that we learn that mindfulness is for the purpose of learning are in regards to three uh, old ways or ordinary ways of looking at reality and these are in terms of stability, satisfaction and control. And these are three things we try to find in relation to the world around us. We want to uh, acquire things that are stable, we want to uh, make things stable and we expect for our situation, our relationship with the world around us to be a world, uh, one of stability. We expect to find satisfaction in our experiences. We expect things to be satisfying. We seek out satisfaction in things. We seek out things that we 
assume are going to satisfy us and control. We seek to control the world around us we, and ourselves. We seek to control our own minds and bodies. Um, we expect to be in control. We feel an expectation to be in control. Um, we are disturbed when things seem out of our control and so on. These three things are really the crux of what we might call the old or the ordinary way of looking at things. It's just so ingrained in pretty much everyone that seeing the truth of reality as being uh, unstable, unsatisfying, and uncontrollable is something very new, something very shocking. And it, it really is a surprise when, when it comes. But as you look more closely, you come to see how really things not being stable isn't the problem. The problem is your expectation for unstable, unstable things to be stable. That's a problem because they're unstable. Uh, seeing that things, experiences, cannot be your source of satisfaction. That satisfaction has to come from contentment, has to come from an ability to be at peace, to be satisfied, regardless of what you experience. And control turns out to be an illusion, turns out to be not just a benign illusion, but a very harmful, uh, stress-inducing um, source of suffering for us as we try to control not only ourselves but others and the world around us and how we constantly meet with frustration and even backlash and so many un unhealthy states of mind as a result of our need to control. So um, this is my wish that um, as usual of course there's nothing new about any of this but a take on mindfulness practice as being um, something to think about in the new year as we um, realize that um, though time ticks, though the world continues on, there's nothing new uh, about this year in and of itself besides the new number on the calendar. And um, may newness come to us on a deeper level than just the day or the year. May we truly find something new and consider this to be a really good way to think of mindfulness practice as truly finding this something new that we seek in the new year, that we may um, be free from the troubles that plagued us in the past year. Uh, simply hoping and wishing for them, wishing for a happy new year is not enough. Uh, we really do need to find not new experiences, but a new way to look at them. So, as well, wishing you all a happy new year. Um, thanks everyone for your interest and uh, your hard work and dedication to mindfulness and to the practice of seeing clearly. Best wishes, may you all find peace, happiness, and freedom from suffering.